Hey guys, I'm glad you stopped in for this review today. We're going to be talking about the Morgan Taylor Kung Fu Panda 3 collection. Now this is actually a winter collection from them, but when I was shopping for the OPI um, New Orleans collection at btysales.com, I saw that she also had the Morgan Taylor Kung Fu collection, and I had never reviewed a Morgan Taylor collection in entirety before. And so when I saw it was there, and then I saw that at the theater, this movie's coming out soon. By the way, this is not sponsored by Kung Fu Band or anything like that, of course. Um, but I thought, I'm probably gonna be going to see that movie with my kids, so this felt very relevant for me to go ahead and review this collection. I really wanted to review Morgan Taylor, I thought these colors were really gorgeous. They're great price on BTY sales. Um, I think they're $4.25 a piece. And um, I thought I will be seeing this video with my kids, this movie, in the theaters probably. So I thought this was really fun. Um, let's go ahead and give it a look. So that's what we're going to do. This is a six-piece collection. Um, like I said, it's for winter 2015. But I just discovered it recently. So that's why we're looking at it now. And the movie's coming out like at the end of this month. So kind of perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all six shades in this line, and we're gonna start with this lady. This is what I have on my nails today. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous classic red. It's a cream um, formula, and you really only need one coat here. It's so, so good. This is called Tigress Knows Best, and these bottles are like really thick and heavy feeling. They're even more heavy feeling than the OPI ones. I don't know what it is. These have um, the same amount as an OPI. They are 15 milliliters. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this one applies. A lot of the polishes in this collection I actually found you could get away with just one coat on. I was really pleased with formula. So this next one is um, kind of a fuchsia. It's not as bright bright as some fuchsias, but it does have this um, luster quality to it. And this is called Kung Fuchsia, and with a little hyphen in there in the middle of the word fuchsia. Really pretty. Um, look at that luster there. So let's go ahead and see how this applies. Next one I want to talk about is called It's Gonna Be May, and I think May is the name of the main girl character in the Kung Fu Panda 3 movie. Of course, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I, I, that's what I've gathered so far. But you know what this makes me think of is the NSYNC video, It's Gonna Be May, and they always sing it like that, and so it's so funny that they named this that. Um, anyway, this is kind of a metallic looking rose, because it has a lot of silver going through it. Um, when I put it on, I definitely didn't think like, oh, that's metallic polish, but that's kind of how it looks in the bottle. It's definitely just, um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of in between a cream and a metallic to me. That's what it looked like. So let's see how it swatches.
Next up, I wanna talk about extra plum sauce, which is this gorgeous purple. Um, it's kind of like a deeper purple, but it has a nice luminescence to it again, so it brightens it up. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna look at two coats of this one. Next up we have Warriors Don't Wine. Look at how pretty that is. This is another gray one that I felt like you could just wear at one coat. Really, really pretty. This actually looks very similar to a polish in the OPI Spring Collection. This one's a little bit lighter though. That's their purple eye manicure for beads. Anyway, I mean not dupes. I just thought it was interesting. They looked very similar. Absolutely beautiful shade of purple. Let's see how it swatches. Alright, and then the last in the collection, this is their Periwinkle, and this one is called Po-Rewinkle, instead of Periwinkle, it's Po-Rewinkle. Um, so this is just a very light Periwinkle with silver shimmer. Again, um, OPI has one of those in their spring collection, but as you can see, it's quite a bit darker. So I did really enjoy the formula on this. You need two coats. Let's see how it applies. So that was all six pieces of the Morgan Taylor Kung Fu Panda 3 collection. I think it's really fun that they partnered up with them. It definitely brings a sense of youth to the brand. And for me, it really made me jump on and want to review a collection from them. And I had been meaning to for a while. It's just that this one finally made me go, oh, yeah, perfect. So overall, I was really, really happy with these polishes. I have tried Morgan Taylor polishes in the past. Um, Jessica had sent me a few, so I did know already that their brand is really nice. But after reviewing a whole for collection from them, I definitely would love to review more of them. And I don't think very many people talk about this brand, at least not as much. So I hope you found this review helpful, kind of give you a peek into the brand. If you had been wondering, as I had been wondering, what they were like, you know, how good they were, things like that. So definitely let me know in the comments what you think. If you're planning on picking any of these up, I definitely recommend the... B2Y sales, sorry about the loud truck in my background. I definitely do recommend that website because I found them there rather inexpensively, which I appreciated. And um, I think that's all I have for you today. So if you found this helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know, or you could just let me know in the comments. That's always nice too. I love talking to you guys there. So thanks for hanging out with me some today. Have a really, really great day. Oh, I didn't tell you what my favorites were. I think my really very favorites were... Um, this awesome red and this purple here. The periwinkle is pretty good too, but I think I've had other periwinkles that are either just as good or, you know, maybe even a little bit better. So it is really pretty though. So let's, um, I was going to say, let's go ahead and take a look at it, but we already took a look at it. So let's all have a great day today. How about that? Let's go out and have a good day. Thanks for spending some of it with me today, you guys, and I will see you back next time. Bye.